Hello students, now we will discuss about salivary glands of cockroach. Basically, the type of digestive glands that are associated with the elementary canal of cockroach are of three types. First one, salivary glands. Second one, hepatic CK. Third one, glandular cells of mesenteron or midgut or ventriculus. Now here, we will start with salivary glands of cockroach. You will write that point also. Digestive glands associated with elementary canal of cockroach are first one salivary glands, second one. glandular cells of mesenteron. Coming to first one, salivary glands. Salivary glands has a pair of salivary glands attached on ventrolateral side. A pair. This is one and this is other one. So we are telling this is salivary glands of cockroach is a pair means two in number. Salivary glands are a pair on ventrolateral side of crop. In elementary canal, we see after pharynx esophagus. There is a big sac like structure called as crop. On that crop, on its ventral and lateral side, on either side of the crop, there is a pair of salivary glands. So, salivary glands have two lobes. This is one lobe and this is other lobe. Each salivary gland has two lobes, one lobe and second lobe. Each lobe has many lobules, one, two, three lines. Each lobe has many lobules. So, these are also called lobules along with other term that is, means single one is called a sinus. Many are called this, 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 many together are called a sini. This SNI or the lobule, SNS, each one, each one is a group of SNR cells and gymogen cells. SNR cells, they secrete saliva. that has saliva that has amylase enzyme gymogen cells they secrete the digesting enzymes we know that Amylase digests carbohydrates. Now, this SNS, each SNS or all the SNI will be having some ductules. These are ductules. They all open into a So, there are two number of common salivary duct, this one and this one. Lobes are two, one and two. SNI are many. SNS is single. So, they have ductules. Each SNS has ductule that finally opens into common salivary duct. 
This common salivary duct opens into a median salivary duct. This one. One and two are opening into common duct. Median salivary duct. This median salivary duct opens into a common receptacular duct. So this is common receptacular duct. Now we will say about that. Between two lobes, there is one big sac-like structure that is called as receptacle. Receptacle. Receptacle stores the saliva. It is also called as reservoir duct. Its function is stores saliva. This leads into called receptacular duct. Receptacular duct. Two number of receptacular ducts. They open into common receptacular duct. Now. We should draw some water link here. This median salivary duct. Median salivary duct. It opens into common receptacular duct. Both of them combinedly opens into efferent salivary duct. Efferent salivary duct. Efferent salivary duct opens into hypopharynx. So this structure is hypopharynx. You will write some of the points related to that. Here we have written about SNS. Now, so SNS is a group of SNR cells and gymogen cells that we have written here. All SNI have ductules. These are ductules. open into common salivary duct. Two common salivary duct on either side on either side of crop because we know that salivary glands are present on either side of crop. On either side, unite to form into median salivary duct. Median salivary duct now opens into common receptacular duct. Both median and salivary, median salivary duct and common receptacular duct opens into efferent salivary duct. These both together open into 
efferent salivary duct. This efferent salivary duct opens into hypopharynx. Hypopharynx is tongue. We also give other term like tongue for hypopharynx. There are some other terms. This receptacle is also called as reservoir duct. Common receptacular duct. It is also called as common reservoir duct. So we have written here. Also called common reservoir duct. So these are points related to structure of salivary glands. Second one, hepatic CK. Hepatic CK are located at the junction of foregut and midgut. These are 6 to 8 in a number on either side. So, hepatic CK has secretory and absorptive, absorptive or absorbing cells. Next one, glandular cells of mesenteron. Mesentera also called as ventriculus or maker. So glandular cells of mesenteron they secrete amylase, <coughs> maltase, next invertase, proteases, and lipases. We will write few like maltase, invertase. Proteases, lipases. First one, <coughs> maltase converts or digests maltose into two glucose units. Invertase. Invertase also called as sucrase. It converts sucrose into one glucose unit plus one fructose unit. Next, proteases converts proteins into Amino acids. Next, lipases converts lipids into fatty acid and glycerol. <coughs> Apart from that, in the hindgut, there are flora, normal bacteria, some of the bacteria that are secreting cellulases. That cellulase will digest the cellulose present in the digesting food material. So, in hindgut, special bacteria is present that secretes cellulase. Now the cellulase converts cellulose into glucose units. So these are few types of digestive glands and also the secreting uh, cells and also the secreting the enzymes that are required for digestion.